Hello, it's Dr. Abstract here, and we have a question on the Adobe support community for Adobe Animate. And it's asking how to use this Zim.js scroll bar example here. Where that comes from is the Zim site. This is Zim, zimjs.com. And if you go to examples and choose collections, right here, collections, here are Zim bits. And there are a whole bunch of examples of Zim bits. You can turn on a picture here to see what they look like. And so all these are very basic parts of interactive media. And one of them right here, whoop, pressing, had this scroll bar. This doesn't have any damping, but this one does have damping. Oh, and that's so nice. This is on the canvas. It's a built-in Zim, and Zim is built on CreateJS. Adobe Animate exports to CreateJS, which means that we can use any of this Zim stuff in Adobe Animate uh, with a, a Zim Shim. So the question was how to make that because it is a very beautiful effect. Well, it was such a nice effect that we actually went ahead in Zim and made uh, a window that has a scroll bar much like this. This happens to be a slider, a Zim slider, and we had set it up with the code. If you take a look in the code, we had set it up in the code to be able to um, create a window with a button on the slider. And here's the slider right there. And we called the slider a scroll bar. And then we masked the object and et cetera, et cetera. So um, there's two versions of that in here, one with uh, the damping and one without the damping. So the code looks a little bit longer than maybe it would need to be. However, uh, we'd like to show you that right here, Boop, 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 boop. Where is it? Right there. Bah, right there. We have an example of a Zim window that already has the scroll bar in it and already handles all the things like the, the masking of that. So since the time that that bits was made, we've implemented a Zim window. And so I think you'll find that this is easier to do than build it all yourself. So let's take a look at the code for building the Zim window. So all of that code that we were looking at before is now nice and easy where we say, hey, make a window with a width and a height, a padding if you want. What is the content? The content's the page like it was before. And we can set the scroll bar to drag. We can add some damping. By default, the scroll bar is just an indicator and you actually drag the whole window. Let me show you that. So uh, you see, I'm dragging this stuff right here and the scroll bar just works kind of, it was skinnier before and just kind of shows you that you're dragging. This works well on mobile. But if you want, you can make it so the scroll bar drags and to do that, it's scroll bar drag true. And then we've added the damping as well. We're centering that on the stage we're adjusting the scroll bar size. If we didn't adjust the scroll bar size, I'll comment that out. Then it looks like this. Refresh. So there's a little skinny scroll bar. See, skinny scroll bar. And like I said, that was usually just an indicator. It would even, by default, it would disappear after a while. But if you want it fatter, then you can set the scroll bar size after you make the window by saying, hey, window scroll bar size 20 and update. All right, so I think that will get you what you want, except now we have to figure out how to do this in Adobe Animate. So let's go into Adobe Animate where we have a movie clip right here. So hopefully you know how to make a movie clip. Uh, if it's an image, then you want to click on the image. So I just double clicked into that movie clip. If it's an image that you have here or a shape like this, you right click on it and say convert to symbol or F8 that will turn it into a movie clip. Well, we already turned those three shapes into a movie clip. Here it is. Note that we have a transform right here. Uh, let's see, the transform tool, no, sorry. Transform tool over here, selected, and that allows me to pick up this little circle. So if your circle went to there, this is kind of important. If your circle went to there, then when it gets added to the window, the top left corner, or here's the window, uh, this little round thing would be put at the top left corner of the window and you wouldn't be able to see all your stuff. So what we're doing is taking the transform tool right here, putting that little circle up in the left hand corner. That's a top left corner, okay? And then what we do is this is our movie clip that we converted with the F8. And we look up here, there's how you can use it with code. 
So that's called an instance name. We're giving that one an instance name called circles. Okay, so that's our flash file, or sorry, oops, <laughs> Adobe Animate file. <laughs> um, then under actions here, F9. So here's the actions panel. This is that code put in place. Why don't we run it and then we can see what's happening. So if I go control enter, um, here it is. So there's our movie clip sitting inside of the Zim window. Wee! Okay. Uh, and that's roughly, did we change the width? Of, I didn't change the width of the scroll bar, but um, we could change the width of the scroll bar in much the same way as before. Okay. So let's reduce this down and have a look here. Uh, first of all, to get the Zim code to work, you have to bring in what is called Zim Shim. And there's a whole uh, page about that. Why don't I go take a look? And there's also all tutorials about that. So we'll go back to the Zim site here, zimjs.com, uh, right here. So this is the front of the Zim site. And if you go into the code section, there's where we normally just work with Zim right like that without animate. But if you want animate, right here is Zim Shim. So if we press on Zim Shim, there's a link that takes you through various tutorials. There's the zip file. So hopefully you've done this if you were already looking at Zim, but you want to grab that zip file and it's what will help you set it up. And there's all these tutorials on extra things you can do. I, actually, there was not a, win, a tutorial on how to put it in a window. So uh, here we are talking about how to put it in a window, but there's all sorts of fun things uh, that you can do with Zim Shim and Adobe Animate. All right, so you grab the zip file right there and let me show you how the, to get that installed. Back here, we'll just reduce this one of these things. Let me drag that. Um, over here, when, well, I'm gonna close that just so I can see what's going on. Under the more settings, so I, I've not, I'm not clicking on the movie clip. Okay, I'm clicking off just on the stage and under the more settings, press that. Under HTML and JS, press that. And then import, import, open up your zip file. So the zip file should be unzipped. So probably I think you have to unzip your zip file first and then choose the Zim Shim. So Zim Shim is the one that we normally do. Zim HTML is an, HT, an example that came along with the zip. This is all in the zip now. Uh, Zim Shim with CreateJS is uh, our own version of CreateJS, which you can use. But uh, you're also welcome to just use, you know, don't even worry about it. Um, just use the one that comes with Adobe. That's fine too. And then here's, if you want to set it up with physics, um, an example of a Zim Shim that allows you to add physics as well. So anyway, we choose Zim Shim like that. And there we go. And we're good. Okay. So that allows us to bring in all of the Zim code. Let's go look at that Zim code again. Uh, where was that? So that was under window actions or F9. And here's the code that we can use. First of all, the movie clip that we made is put on a, a timeline and that timeline really wants that movie clip. If we try and put the movie clip into the window, the timeline will put it back into the timeline. <laughs> so we're gonna stop the timeline, this dot stop, that stops the timeline. If we want to use the the movie clip in Zim, it will help if we Zimify it. That will give it extra things that Zim uses. It will allow us to say center that movie clip with a Zim center function or a Zim center method. So we Zimify this dot circles. Okay, so circles is the name for it in the movie clip, or sorry, in the uh, timeline there. And this is how we refer to anything that's on that timeline. So we say zimify this dot circles. And we're storing that in a variable called circles. Okay, what's next? We make the new window right here. We give it the width, the height, the content is circles. We set the scroll bar drag equal to true or to true like that and the damping. And then we're gonna add a little bit of padding to in the vertical at the top. This is one way that we can pass in parameters to the window. 
It's called the ZimDuo technique. It's a, this is a configuration object where we put the name of the parameter and its value. Name of the parameter value, name, and you just do that. It's much like CSS, isn't it? And as a matter of fact, you can take all of that out if you wanted to, and you could put it in style like this is equal to and pass it in there. And this would still work in the same way. And that way you could do a bunch of windows with the same style, for instance. But you, you don't need to know that. So we'll just take that out. You can also do it a width of 500 comma, height of 500 comma, the content is circles, uh, comma, etc. So if you did that, that would work too. Should we see what this window 500 by 500 with the circles looks like? So we save that up, control enter. There's the window 500 by 500 with the circles, except we can't drag the, the, the bar just goes away. All we can do is drag that. So I think you were wanting it to drag with the easing and stuff like that. So we'll close that one. And let's see, uh, turn it back to how it was, which was all this stuff in there. Okay, but anyway, note that that is normal parameters. That's one way to do parameters. But if we want to get to other parameters, they may be way, there's all sorts of parameters. If you ever wanted to see what those parameters are, we can go to the Zim site now and press docs right there. Docs, you type in window like so. And here are all of the parameters for the window. So if we had to do them in order, uh, width, height, we've got the content, you can change the background color if you want. Okay, uh, the um, the border color, etc. So you could do that too. But look at where what was it that we wanted to do? The dragging was scroll bar drag right there. So we'd have to put in undefined or null and null, and we've got corners and all that kind of stuff. So these parameters need to be done in order. So that's a little bit tricky to do, unless you've got the Zim Duo technique, where instead of doing it in order like that with um, nulls in there for un or undefines for the parts that we don't want to specify, we can just do it like this. We can put in the squiggly brackets and say what the specific parameters are and their values. Okay, Zimduo technique. As far as I know, we're the only framework that lets you do that. Parameters normally or parameters with a configuration object, a single configuration object. Amazing. Anyway, there they are. Uh, so if you wanted a different background color, you could put that in here. Background color, colon, well, what do we want? Um, how about yellow? <laughs> comma. Don't forget your commas on the ends of all these. And are you ready? We go control enter. Ooh, and there's our background color yellow. Okay, there is a clear and a border color clear that you probably could use too if you wanted it clear, but uh, whatever. There you go. And if you wanted to make that scroll bar thicker, then you add, you would store this in a variable like const w for window. I wouldn't use lowercase window. That is actually a keyword that allows you to access the, the window. So just um, call it w for instance, for the window. And then next you would say w.scrollbar like that. Oh, that was reminding me as I did the camel casing there on scroll bar. Background color is like that with the camel casing, but if you wanted to, you could just go BG color too. We allow both. All right, anyway, scroll bar dot size is equal to 10 or something like that. And if you do that, it's adjusting the window after it's made. And so what we have decided to do is you say then w dot update. Okay, normally we don't have to update the window afterwards and instead of trying to track whether that updated, we, we say, oh, please call the window update to, to match that. So here we go and we control enter. Now we've got a thicker scroll bar and there's a scroll bar color as well and there's a scroll bar alpha and stuff like that if you don't want the scroll bar to have an alpha like that. All right. I am Dr. Abstract. Hopefully that helps you. I'll also post this code up on, on the answer. Uh, by the way, if I were you, I think when we looked at that answer, where was that answer? Not there. The answer here or the comments. Um, we did get another fellow piped in uh, right here. I'm no expert, but you can try this. And uh, when we press on that, it goes to all of this stuff right here. And I don't know if that's going to 
answer or be, or be the answer to for your question, but that that's a lot more answer than than what we're looking at uh, here. Okay, so I think that or back in the Adobe um, Animate, put up right there. Okay, hopefully that will help you. I am Dr. Abstract, and please come in and take a look at all of those tutorials as well. Um, uh, all right, have a great day or night. Cheers. Um, yeah, and by the way, uh, we made Zim right here, this thing. So uh, you're welcome to ask me any questions about all of this stuff. There's all sorts of fun, exciting things inside of Zim. We've just launched Zim version Zim 02 which is after Zim 1, Zim Duo, Zim Tri, Zim 4th, the 6, no, Hep, 6, Hept, Oct, Neo, uh, I think we forgot one, you know, Neo, 10, Cat, NFT, or vice versa, yeah, no, Cat, NFT, and now we're on Zim version Zim. <laughs> All right, take it easy, guys.